so Carol Cole, the founder of the company, she was a really well-known esthetician in Beverly Hills, and she used to travel with like huge microcurrent machines. Have you ever seen those machines before? They have like two probes, and you work around the eyes and the mouth, and they re-educate muscle. And it's been around since like the 70s, and it was discovered by a Chinese doctor, Dr. Wing, and he used to work with acupuncture patients. So it was kind of discovered in like an acupuncture way, and then the cosmetology world got wind of it that it actually will lift and tone the muscle. So in the 80s, it kind of boomed. Um, but the devices were huge. So why we're special is because Carol Cole, the founder of my boss, was the only one to come up with the first one that's been FDA cleared for a handheld version of microcurrent. So we're not only able to use it in the treatment room, but we're able to sell it as well to the you know, consumer. Um, so that was discovered in like 2000, and then we're FDA cleared in 2007. Um, microcurrent is alternating currents between a positive and a negative current. So why it's alternating is because it needs to re-educate muscle. Have you ever heard of like galvanic current mm -hmm. or phoratic? Or so galvanic is purely product penetration. So some people ask you, oh, is that new skin? Do you get that a lot? So new skin is galvanic. It's a low-level electrical current that penetrates all the product that they sell you with. Um, the other current is high frequency. If you've ever had a facial and you had a pimple and they like zapped you with the glass probe, mm -hmm. that's very similar to this as well. So the only difference between that is that's also a direct current that gets bacteria out. So one probe is positive, one probe is negative, and they alternate in between each other to re-educate the muscle. It doesn't build the muscle or bulk up the muscle, it just re-educates it to actually be stimulated in an upward motion. So it reminds me of like if you've ever done a Pilates class, like how you become like really lean and toned and tight. It's the same exact way that microcurrent does that. Okay, so the box comes with not only the device, it comes with the mist and then it comes with the gel. So we always stay step one is like cleanse your face, exfoliate, do light therapy, do everything you want to do, glycolic peels, serums, and then use the gel and then put the microcurrent over that. So what the microcurrent is going to do to the serum is it's going to penetrate it by 47%. The gel ever starts to kind of dry on the skin. That's why we incorporated the mist because it's a hyaluronic acid and aloe vera mist and it just helps with like the gliding. So you want to go at a very slow speed as well, like a five second glide. So let me just, so I'm pretty much just going to show you exactly how the gliding motion goes. She's pretty young, so she doesn't have much to lift, but it also helps with like if you had any sugar or salt in the last 24 hours. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> it's going to help with the inflammation. It has a nice like lymphatic drainage effect. So let me, which side do you want to do? Does it matter? It's just Can we use it on the body? Yes, we are FDA Ooh. cleared for the body in Europe. So, so I usually just start like right around the jaw if I don't do the neck first. So I'm just starting on the jaw and you're going to want to do like a five second glide. How does it feel? It's cold. It's cold? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so they're non-porous probes, so to clean them you just wipe them off with alcohol. How long should the whole process take? Um, when you first get the device, you want to tell customers that you want to start using it. it. It reminds me of the gym. So the more you do it, the better results you're going to have. So you want to use it at least four to five days a week for five to ten minutes a day at minimum. The most you can use microcurrent in one day is 20 minutes. So you don't want to use it more than 20 minutes. It's not going to harm your muscles. It's just kind of like going to the gym three times in one day. It like overexerts them. So they don't actually work anymore to lift and tone. It just kind of stops at like 20 minutes. And then if you stop using the device ever, nothing will happen. It'll just go back to normal. It'll just take a little bit longer. So after like the 90 day period of using it almost every day, you want to just use it like every, like for example, I'm on like the every 72 hour plan. So I only use mine like three times a week. Can you explain the feeling um, for our camera crew? Okay, so <laughs> once it hits, feels just cold, like just cold, but once it gets up here, it, I feel like a shock or something. Because there's no... Um, product? Yeah. Okay. As long as there's product on the face, you won't feel a thing. But once you get the product off, you'll feel the little tingling. 
Because it, it only, it's very instant. 99% of people that I work on get lifted instantly. Unless they're like 19, it's kind of hard. Is um, that something like you can use like another kind of serum or? You can use a gel-based mask. You can use a serum. I use personally a gel-based mask right now just because um, a girlfriend that's an esthetician made it for me. And it's water-based, so it helps with the gliding. And then it penetrates every product that's in the gel-based mask into my face. Would you say that anything that has hyaluronic acid is good? Like yeah, yeah, most definitely. So a gel-based, water-based, oil-free? Everything needs to be oil-free. Oil-free, okay. Because oil inhibits the current, just like hair would. So I couldn't really lift this part of your face just because you have hair, facial hair. <coughs> what if the hair is removed? It's fine. Oh. Yeah, as long as the hair follicles are right. Or the hair's not growing. So. Gel-based. 